my grandpa said he's going to treat every day as if it were the last. So, I mean, I don't think he'll have any regrets or, you know, any, you know, second guessing before he's ready to pass on. I think that he'll probably be really comfortable and satisfied with the life he lived. And same with my grandma. I've thought about how old I'm getting. Uh, what it'll be like when I'm dead and gone. Who's going to be there to give the kids advice and hug them when they need a hug, when the parents are too busy to do it. Um, it's a funny, funny question because I've really thought about it a lot lately, the last couple of years. I know that she's made peace with dying. You know, not she doesn't want to die today or tomorrow, but she knows that eventually she will, and as long as she's comfortable with it. But now that I'm in the autumn of my life, I have, my life is much easier. And I guess that has bearing on it too, that I have more patience. Recently, I went up to New York and, and when I walked in the door and I saw my grandfather, it was the first time in about six months that I seen him and he, had, he looked horrible. It was, it was very upset, upsetting to see him because he didn't even know who I was. I had to look at him and say, my name's Amy. I'm your granddaughter, I'm Vera's, your daughter Vera's daughter, and it was very hard. I had to spend a lot of time explaining it to him, and then the next day he forgot who I was again. You know, I'm gonna miss her, and I'm gonna be angry, but I'm, gonna, I'm okay with it because it was her time to go, and she's ready for it, so. so I guess it's, I don't like to think about it, but it'll probably be really hard when she's gone, and I'll miss her and everything, and so. Yeah, I don't, she's, she's young at heart and everything, so I plan on keeping her around for a long time. <laughs> I didn't understand, and I remember going to the, um, the visitation, and his friends and family saying, I'm so sorry, and telling me how sorry they were, and I remember thinking that it wasn't fair, and why couldn't they fix it? And it, it hit me even years later when, you know, grandparents die in movies, I still cry, because I think it's so unfair to do to children. I love butterflies, so whenever they see a butterfly, they'll think of Grandma. 